This week's conference is a prelude to our next semester study. And I wanted to take the opportunity as one of the teachers on your path to translate the invocation. So part of our ritual and tradition and part of what I love about the lineage of this um, light of the teaching being passed on is that we have this sacred reverence when we begin and we bring our hands in front of our hearts and we chant two different slokas. And we call this, some people call it the, um, the Ashtanga chant, but most people refer to it as the invocation. And I love using that word to describe what we were doing before we start our practice because we were using words to invoke something. And in conference, I read the, dish, the definition of invoke and uh, this idea of calling on something, calling on something and bringing it in. And so every time we stand in the front of our mats, we put our hands in front of our hearts and we've memorized these words in Sanskrit, Vande, Gururam, Charanada Vende, what are we invoking? And um, coming from um, my own lineage of um, a liturgy and the reverence of a temple or church, I always like to remind my students right before we begin, you're invoking the gifts of the practice. What are you calling on just before we speak so we're not just going bra 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 which happens sometimes because we are so excited, we've memorized it, we're not just going hmm, hmm, hala hala, but we've memorized it and so now we're chanting it, but what does it mean to us? So what's important to me as, again, one of the teachers on your path is to say, translate the invocation with me and find the meaning for you. And so when you are saying this right before you begin your practice, you can call on the gifts of the practice. It's so rich in its translation of Vande Gururam Charanada Vande, um, bowing to the lotus feet is one translation of taking it from Sanskrit to English. But now we have to translate it like good poetry. What does that mean to bow to the feet of the lotus um, guru? So come into uh, our conference. You can listen to it. You don't always have to watch it. You can just set it on audio and join me and the other students in, um, in understanding and really bringing meaning into this. Of course, like any other teaching I do, I love this teaching because it makes me really think about what do I invoke with the words that I choose and I use throughout my day? And so at the very end of this, we talk about, are we using, it's like a child, like use your words, you know, are you using words of kindness and love to yourself and to others? Or are you using words of gossip and hate and division? And, and, and those are what we're calling forth. We're invoking those things in our life. So I, I shared one of my many, um, one of my many very special uh, invocations that I recite and I get excited and reach my arm up when I say it. And I invite you to do the same, to have one, if not many, many um, invocations that you use and you use as a way to invoke what you want to bring into your lives. <laughs>